Hi guys and welcome back to the Silver Mix Squad Builder. It's Saturday, so that is what we do on a Saturday. The YouTuber we are going to be trying to test in this Silver Mix against is going to be Woodley, I Woodley HD. His link to his channel is in the description below, so make sure you go and check that out. Show it some love from this channel to his. So the two nations we are going to be dividing this mix up with, and it is a mix because it's only two teams anymore, and it's a hybrid. We don't want to be going stepping on Motor Shaw's feet as he is the uh, hybrid gob making squad fucker daft fuck shit like that so we don't want anyone to be upsetting the hybrid gods out there so silver mix two teams two nations basically and that is how it's going to go down today so first of all i'd like to give a massive shout out to fifa coin traders.com for giving us coins to be able to build teams like this their links in the description a reliable coin service so you should go and check them out so let's start off with the dutch link up and this is going to move from uh, the bottom to the left and uh, some awesome players in there so let's crack on with the first player and it's going to be the goalkeeper and it's going to be zoet um one of the highest rated dutch keepers he's one of the best as well i've had him uh, well, I, I trusted him because he's six foot three. He's got average stats, really. Uh, well, it's not not average because they are quite good actually for a silver. Seventy three diving, seventy three reflexes. Uh, won't go too much into him. He's quite cheap as well at six hundred and fifty coins. Uh, with the link, you can get anyone. Actually, what nation's he from? Yeah, he's, he's from the Holland League, isn't it? Is he? Yeah, ear division. So you do actually need him. <laughs> you do actually need someone from that league to get a link because I'm shit with chemistry links. I do apologise for this. Uh, moving on up into the centre back, and this is the first of the two Dutch centre backs, and the first one is going to be uh, Beer Gever. Now I do apologise to my Dutch uh, followers, viewers, subscribers because I am going to absolutely butcher the fuck out of your nationalities' names, your your team players' names, and uh, for that I do apologise. Actually, I apologise to everybody because my name pronunciation is terrible. Moving on up into the left, uh, left centre back, and it's going to be Donk. He plays in the Pro League. He is one of the mo he's definitely the most expensive Dutch uh, centre back on the game. 36k we paid for him, that was a while ago though, uh, you might be able to pick him up for a bit cheaper now on bid, so we've played a shitload of games with him, he's been absolute rock, will not complain, and he fits perfectly into a sweaty pro league team if you ever want to build one, I recommend you do, because they are awesome. Moving on up into the DM position, and now this guy is a bit of a strange choice, it is Snow, uh, 58 pace for a defensive midfielder, that is very rare for me to pick a slow defensive midfielder but his other stats do make up for that he has 61 shooting 68 passing 75 defending and 76 heading then my last two the defending and the heading stats are the main two which we're going to use him for this time round because he is a bit of a bulk uh but it, <coughs> it just really i don't know really he just looks good he looks how i want to look basically i dream of looking like a van der snow his lips, his nose, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So anyway, less of the man love and more of the team. Up to the left mid position and it is the pay. That is the 86 pay, 77 dribbling player from PSV. Uh, does he have skills? He does. He has four start and four start weak foot as well. So a really tidy player for abusing that wing player. Right, so that is the Dutch side of the team built. The other second part of the team is going to be Colombian. I'm going to start from the centre back and move up. So let's set the parameters up uh, to this. Da la 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 la. Let's change the parameters. There we are. So Columbia Silver centre back, and obviously it's going to be Olive. He is from the MLS Real Salt Lake player, and he is quite cheap for 75 pace. He's an animal, guys. He is an absolute animal. 12k paid, well, 12.5k paid for him, uh, and we have been using him in a wager series uh, as well. Uh, actually, we've been not on, not on YouTube. Actually, we've been doing that one on stream. So uh, we've played a lot of games with him, but not actually uh, got any footage out of him because he's that good. He's an absolute beast. In fact, so you should get, definitely get him and wine uh, banged in a team together. They'll be fucking monsters. Moving on to the DM position. Now this guy we've definitely got, well the only reason we have got him is really for the um, chemistry links for us to get the two other players we did want in the team. So we've gone for Aldo, Aldo Ramirez, uh, he costs us 300 coins, 61 pace, he's pretty average, I won't go too far with him because the main reason we did get him is for the chemistry links for the right mid. You lot should know who it is and it's Castillo, he is in the MLS as well so he does get a strong green link with Olive and, and uh, just a 
nationality one with the DM. Castillo is an awesome player. Four star skills, three star weak foot. So that's two decent skillers in the team so far with uh, the pay as well. He costs 1.5k. He used to be expensive, but he's actually not that cheap now. And fuck me, he's, he, he's like five years younger than me. Oh, this is disgusting. It's upsetting as well because he's beautiful. Anyway, moving on up into the camp, finished off the business end of the team, and the camp player is Quantero. We have moved him down from centre forward and striker to the camp position. Uh, the reason we have got him in the team is because we had a price fix. Uh, well, price. F well, so we did some anyway. I mean, it with a free one, five star skills, four star weak foot, sixteen k paid. Pretty sure he's a lot cheaper than that now. Uh, his stats are unreal. He is an unreal player, guys. You need to get him tried out if you haven't before brilliant the silver colombians this year are cracking uh, not even a lie uh the strikers they're a bit scarce for strikers but we did find two first one is going to be arizala 79 pace 72 dribbling uh and he plays in the liga de mex i think yeah and uh he is very underrated four star skills four star weak foot six foot quite a tall striker but he's a non-rare as well so he can pick him up quite cheap the only reason we've got him in the team is because he was actually in a pack opening we did a while back didn't even realize we had him so we thought we'd put him in there and then the other striker to finish it off is rodalega he plays for fulham uh, really, re really good player, and I was surprised that I never had him because I thought I had most of the BPL strikers, but we never actually had Vodalega. So he cost us 4.8k. That was quite a recent price as well, uh, and he's an animal. 77 pace, 76 dribbling, and 74 shooting. You never know; you might even see this guy in the BPL, depending on who BPL wager showdowns, depending on who we do actually go with. So that is the team completed and built full chemistry on every single player at nine um and that is really it basically so also guys i want to do a quick plug for tomorrow's new series uh, a lot of you have been complaining well not complaining just like getting a bit knocked off with me using 352 for every single squad builder so i decided to do like it's a lot similar to Cal Freeze's uh, finding f uh, formation frenzy and uh, Benaga's finding formation. So you will see something similar from me tomorrow. It will be an epic squad builder. It will be in a different formation and we will be talking a lot about the different formations on Ultimate Team and trying and testing them out as well. So that is a team built. Also go and check out uh, iWoodley's channel. The link is in the description and I will be with you back in a sec uh, when we show the game footage of what happened in the game against him. Be back in a sec. So the, the team which Woodley does put up against us is a very nice looking at Swedish Brazil mix. Now is he copying us? Nah, because that team is awesome and I won't uh, discourage the lad because he's got Gudetti up front. It's club, well it's basically made off Gudetti. So straight away, instantly, I decide to be a dick, flicking the ball over my head with a defender and then boom, Gudetti does punish me. So me being... For well, thinking that I'm the defensive god thinks, yeah, why not flick it over your head in the sixth minute of a game and then concede a goal instantly? But we did learn from that. We got strong. Uh, and we did manage to pull one goal back. Not the best of goals, to be fair. It's actually one of the sweatiest ones I have scored uh, against another YouTuber I have played. And for that, I do apologise. But the game was very uh, tight-knit against Woodley. Very good opponent. Uh, and I won't take anything against him. His team was awesome. My team was awesome. And it did take until the 100, uh, 115th minute it did for anyone to break the deadlock. And thankfully, it was me who brought the deadlock with this nice bit of football. Bit of luck as well. Bit of bounces everywhere, etc, etc. But that is what FIFA 13 is about. It's, a bit, it's about a bit of a bundle. And when you realise that, you'll then learn to appreciate the game. So Depay picking the ball up and then boom. Far corner makes it 2-1. And we do win the game. So that is an awesome result for us. And Woodley has been beaten. So make sure you do check out his channel. So there we have guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you have. Comment in the section below. And remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also remember to check out FIFA Coin Traders.com. Their link is in the description. And until next time I will see you again.